Hi. So, chair is <laughs> take a rest. <laughs> so, so now uh, I'm Kesuke Nakano from the University of Digital Communications. The I will give reports on the ICFP programming contest in this year uh, as the organizer uh, of the uh, contest organizers. Uh, okay, first let me introduce the ICFP programming contest. But uh, most of you know, but how? Do you know the ICFP programming contest? And uh, how many people attend this year's ICFP contest? Oh, very, very few. <laughs> okay, I will <laughs> introduce later. And the uh, ICFP programming contest is a newer contest uh, uh, sponsored by, ah, since 1998, sponsored by the ACM and ICFP. The, the aim of the contest is to decide who are discriminating the hackers and whose programming language of choice are the best. And uh, uh, one of the characteristic features of the, this contest is that, uh, comparing to other programming contests, is that uh, particip every participant can choose his or her the favorite programming languages. So there are no restrictions on programming languages. And another characteristic feature is uh, it's, it will be held in three, uh, three consecutive days. Uh, that is very tough for participants, also more tough for organizers. <laughs> and a contest organizer can set their favorite task. So the problem is, uh, full of variety, implementing robots, playing game, optimizing programs. There are many uh, different uh, topics. So what is the topic of this year? What? Topic of this year is uh, origami. So origami is the art of the folding papers. And uh, this is one of the traditional Japanese cultures. And uh, the ordinary origami uh, has to be made from the square paper, square paper like, uh, uh, sorry, like this, and the, without cutting nor or gluing. And then uh, actually this origami, uh, point, <laughs> uh, yes, this origami is a crane. Origami crane is one of the typical origami in Japanese. Uh, or most of Japanese know to know, maybe know how to fold them. And uh, but everyone can easily fold. I can <laughs> uh, give you the, some paper because I have the 180 papers <laughs> here. So so please ask me to. And then actually everyone can. For them, because uh, this one, uh, this uh, origami crane actually folded by Barack Obama, and, <laughs> and on this, on the last May, he tried to fold the ori uh, origami crane, and uh, so so everyone can do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And also, the, the, there are cross connection the, between origami and the functional programming because both transform something by folding and unfolding. <laughs> Actually, the Professor Jeremy Gibbons' book, "The Fun of Programming," said uh, in chapter three, origami programming. This is uh, interesting thing. So, so there are cross connection, and also another connection is that. ICFP, see, this is abbreviation of the International Conference Functional Programming and Programming Contest. A programming is a repetition, so sometimes uh, omitted. But this year's contest can be seen as International Complex Folding Paper Contest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so what is the problem task? So problem task is very, very simple. Given a silhouette like this, and uh, find a map, uh, how to uh, find a way how to 
uh, get this shape from uh, by origami. So the origami, how to give uh, such origami is that map from source to target, source to destination. Source is a square paper, and destination is uh, some shape. So this is a map from the, this is uh, 10 vertices to the destination vertices, like this. This can define the origami. But of course, we have restriction to be valid as origami. For every facet can be transformed into the, the same shape, the uh, same facet. Uh, so the shape and size must be kept, preserved. And also the, for this two here. Another uh, restriction to be valid as origami is that if two facets shared some edge, then that edge maps to the sh edge that is shared by the same facet. So this is uh, important because the origami cannot, uh, it, it's not, a, origami does not allow the cutting. So this is the important restriction. And also the problem, uh, our, in our set problem setting, we give some internal edges as a hint because uh, it can be the help for uh, participants. But maybe we, it can be ignored because uh, we just check the silhouette to evaluate the submission. But if you can not, uh, if you do not, if you cannot find the exact way to get that silhouette, you may submit the uh, approximation solution as far as the map is valid as origami. This is a valid origami just uh, uh, for the four corner of the square. And then get uh, this shape, this silhouette, then the, to evaluate this submission, we just compare by in this way. The score can be defined by the intersection of a union times some the factor. This factor is a difficulty factor that is positive number that is computed. Uh, uh, that it depends of by depend on the number of the teams who solve the problems. So if the many teams give the exact solution to this problem, then the score is very, very low. But the no team give the exact solution, then the score is the highest. And the so uh, this silhouette is the origami crane. This is also one of the the hardest problem in our problem setting, and uh, it is very hard because uh, we have you have to find this map from this silhouette. So this is difficult, but you can submit just identity to get the positive score. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the point of the, this year's problems. So the task uh, in detail, the, all coordinate are rational numbers because uh, two reasons. One reason is that uh, we want to distinguish the, the exact solution and others because uh, uh, I want to, to use to solve, the, uh, find the exact solution. But second reason is also important because we want to test the composability of programming language. What does it mean? So many programming language supports some library for rational numbers and some uh, and also supports some library of the geometry computation geometry. But almost library for geometry is just support floating point numbers. So we you need to 
combine in some way to so that that is uh, one of the purpose of these problems and the additional the detail is that at we have the right wing division so first 24 hours participants try to solve 101 problem we provided and the another 48 hours uh, that is full contest participants can also submit the problem so participants should solve the problem solved by participant other participants and also i have to say about uh, some feature of the this pro this year's programming contest so this program is good things because the uh, collaborative approach of human and computers are so are forced so uh, actually many many most of the team were folding real paper in front of the computers that is uh, interesting and uh, also the good thing is uh, 20, uh, 200 the two teams and the positive score because of the such uh, score evaluation we, even though the many programmers want to avoid the geometry computation geometry they don't like <laughs> usually they don't like the <laughs> geometry programming but okay and and also the we provide some the robust server and submission api that works well our server is very stable in spite of the many submission like this so there are many submission so solution more than the four four hundred thousand hmm? four, four, yeah four hundred thousand submissions and also i hope you enjoy the contest from uh, i guess from the street like the many tweets <laughs> yes <laughs> okay anyway let us uh, see the results of the contest first uh, we start from the judges prize this judges prize is to gi to <coughs> we we give the judges prize to the teams who solve the who give some distinguished solution or some problems. So let's see. The just see its price goes to. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Drum roll, <laughs> so. <laughs> to be decided. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, this is, this is the name of the teams. <laughs> So please come to the stage. Uh, a member, maybe. Oh, okay, please come to the stage. Oh, sorry, I have to say this for the TBD the <laughs> effort. X, uh, TBD is an excellent, good bunch of hackers and. TBD solved the problem solved by no other teams. Even the outstanding first play winner failed to solve it. That is the uh, best point for the judge's prize. And uh, the, okay. <laughs> yeah, the problem like this. Uh, this is could, should be easy, but uh, you will explain more. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. Um, so, in fact, uh, yeah, this problem, it looks pretty not so impressive. And uh, we really, do, we don't really know why exactly this problem was so, so hard to solve. <laughs> uh, because it's, it was generated uh, pretty simple. As you see, to the left is, is the solution. 
It is the, the sheet of paper when we unfold, when we unfold it, and how it was generated. You see, uh, first it was folded like vertically, uh, a number of vertical folds, but uh, they, ah, okay. Uh, if you fold it just vertically, it's too simple. So first few folds were uh, under some random angles, uh, random slopes, and then it's just vertical, but not. But each next fold is a bit wider than previous. <laughs> I don't know why, because it was another guy who did it, and he thought it's really cool. <laughs> So those few folds with slope give a bit rough edge, a rough rough edge at the top. So it's pretty. It adds some difficulty, and then we just fold vertically. And then in the end, the fold we fold the result like 45, 45 degrees, like here. So this fold line it uh, it goes through that accordion-like shape and gives this strange saw tooth uh, contour. And that what we got in the result. Like you see this 45 degrees fold, the last one, and this uh, here it is that accordion shaped such uh, layer of paper. <laughs> So, and that's it. <laughs> ah. Well, and I, I just wanted to show, to show this because it's just a pretty picture. Uh, it was generated by me, but it's just some, it was, the algorithm was just random folding. But <laughs> this random uh, gave such a nice picture, and I just liked it, so I, uh, I just wanted to show you. And, and this, is, this is unfolded version, and this is after you fold. It becomes like that. <laughs> so, in fact, on behalf of the TBD team, uh, we want to say thanks to, to the organizers, because the task was real fun. And we're, we really did also folding paper, real paper. And I can even say that in the end, in the last minutes, I was not programming, not submitting solutions. I was really folding paper, because we found, we found while visualizing the problems, we found one problem that could be easily f solved by real paper. <laughs> and I was just, uh, you know, rec recording the co coordinates of the points <laughs> in the last minutes and, you know, writing a shell script to submit it automatically because there were, like, uh, many, uh, like, not one, but many same problems, you know, just one solution for many problems. So I was writing a script to send it. And that was real fun. <laughs> so I think, I think that's it. Uh, thanks. Now I have a, uh, I have a gift, gift for, uh, I have a gift for uh, some present for you. Thank you. Uh, Python. <laughs> More questions? <laughs> Python, Python 3.5. Ah? Sorry? Lines? Or there are very many. Mandalay. <laughs>
because it's just enormous quantity of lines because we were just coding, 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 and not all of them are relevant, but <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't actually count. So. So the next uh, Lightning Division winner is okay. uh, Java Lu. Uh, so he used OCaml. OCaml is uh, very suitable for rapid towards typing. <laughs> Unfortunately, he, he couldn't come here, but he Give he give me uh, send me the movie, so let's see that. Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yes. Hello, my name is Alexey Shepin, and I'm the only member of Jabber IUT. Uh, after reading the task description, I decided to write a uh, visualizer with some features for manual solving and then see what to do next. Uh, I used OCaml with label TK library for the interface part. I'll show you a few examples of solving using it. Here is green uh, square is a paper which should be folded into the red skeleton. Basically, all solutions start with finding uh, a right corner in the skeleton and aligning it with the paper. So here is a, a right corner, align it, and then fold it along uh, some skeleton edges. And done. So another example. Again, uh, find the corner, align it, uh, then make a strip and fold. And done. <laughs> Here is another example from the main round. Uh, as only simple valley folds are supported, uh, sometimes it helps to make some folds before others. Uh, and for that, uh, the folding line can be reflected against other edges. So that's basically all I had for the lightning round. Uh, I was going to add some solvers, but I kind of liked the process of manual solving, so I spent the rest of the contest doing it manually. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I enjoyed the contest. Thanks, organizers, for making it. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, I will send presents to him. Okay. Uh, I have... No, they, uh, I, I cannot tell the answer because uh, I need to check, check it more time, sorry. <laughs> okay. M but most of them cannot uh, be solved by him because uh, there are many difficult problems. And also, some of, some problem that's not cannot be solved by just simple folding. We need some more dynamic <laughs> special techniques for origami. So this is they cannot solve the problems. Okay. Next. Okay. The second place is. Ameno Habakiri. Please come to the stage.
Uh, uh, okay, I have to say <laughs> C++, Ruby, Python, Haskell, Java, and JavaScript are fine programming tools for many applications. Hello everyone. I'm Shunsuke Ohashi from Team Ame no Habakiri. Uh, yeah, we are eight. We, we con uh, our team consists of eight members. I believe this is why we got the second uh, second place uh, because this is quite a large team. I believe so. And our strategy was of human power. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, so we had a large team, so we ha we could have uh, many cores, other than uh, much more than other team or judges like this. So uh, five members out of t oh sorry, oh this is the uh, uh, output log of our one of the our mighty uh, solver uh, Tomoyuki, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is also output of him. Uh, uh, we had a uh, five solvers. As human, and then other three people just did a eat sushi drawing contest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a joke. We also developed many tools uh, like problem generator or problem solvers, uh, but we, uh, due to the time limitation, I only explained two tools. Sorry. Uh, well, this is Ame no Gekirin, uh, visual solvers. I believe probably this is quite similar to what the Javaru had. Uh, this is is uh, just a uh, GUI solver, and uh, how to operate is quite similar to Java rules one. Mm. Uh, the other tool was Grace. This is the uh, geometrically identical, uh, uh, geometrically, geometrically identical problem finder. Uh, find geometrically problem uh, identical one, and uh, reuse the the output of the other one to reduce the uh, workload of the human solvers. Uh, let me explain how the, our team worked. The, this, these are the problem. Uh, think uh, these are the uh, problems. At first, the Grace program clusters the uh, based on the, its identity and uh, human solver. Uh, this is the Kata, one of the member. Uh, he uh, he was also the human solver, uh, solve one, and the other was solved by the Grace. Uh, this is how worked, how we worked on this year's contest. Uh, that's it. Uh, uh, this is a present for me. Thank you very much. Okay, the last one. The first place goes to. Unagi. <laughs> Come to the stage. The Java, C++, C Sharp, PHP, and Haskell are programming tools for choice of discriminating hackers. <laughs> and uh, this uh, Unagi solved uh, all problems except for the uh, TBD's problems. That is uh, <laughs> excellent. And also, uh, this team's the winner of the last year ICFP scene. Hi. Hi everyone, I'm Takuya Akiba from Team Unagi. So I'd like to briefly introduce our team and what we did during this competition. Okay, so first of all, our team consists of six members. Uh, we are a good mixture of academia and the industry. Uh, we have strong commonality that we all were once addicted to programming competitions such as Top Coder and Google Code Jam. And I'd like to emphasize that our team is now a three time winner at ICFP programming competition. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'd like to explain our solution this year. So this is the result. So we were really close to the perfect game. So 
uh, we created so difficult problems that are not solved by any other teams. Our 46 problems are not solved by any other teams. Also, uh, we solved almost all the problems out of like 3,500 3, problems, um, except only one problem, and that gave the judges prize. So I really, uh, we really regret that we could not solve that one problem. But anyway, we were quite close to the perfect game. <laughs> OK, so this is our solver. So we did not use human solvers, uh, but we, we seriously implemented depth first exhaustive search with many powerful pruning techniques. Uh, in particular, we implemented some techniques from such solvers. For example, we implemented back jumps. We, also uh, we were also implementing closed learning, but we, were, we could not make it working during the competition. But anyway, our solver was quite, quite powerful uh, so that it can solve most of the problems without any hints from human. But also, uh, we created a human annotation tool, which can give some hints to solvers. Uh, this was also quite useful uh, to solve a small portion of very difficult problems. So this just gives some hints. Uh, this just only gives uh, vertices that would be uh, on the perimeter. So this, this hint is very sparse, but it is quite enough to solve almost all the problems. Also, uh, this is how we created our problems. So this is also our key to, to the victory. Uh, we were actually not folding the paper, but we were just drawing some random lines on the square under some restriction. Uh, we actually found some rules that uh, we, if we follow that rule, then we can guarantee it always forms some origami. So we follow that rule, and we just randomly draw lines. So that's why our problems were quite tough. <laughs> Actually, even our, our solvers cannot solve our problems. <laughs> yeah, they were really like some cryptography. Thank you. We, we did much more during the competition, but due to the time limit, today I omit the details. OK, so I'd like to finally remark one take-home message, OK? So this programming competition is basically de uh, designed to determine which is the best programming language, you know? OK? So according to the contest this year, uh, the answer is to use your favorite programming language, even if it is different from your, your teammates. Uh, I was actually surprised to see even the second place team was quite similar to us. So according to the competition, this is quite nice. And of course, it would make a huge mess in your code base. So have you ever seen such a colorful coding language stats in your GitHub? Uh, so I personally don't think this is a great thing. But according to the competition, this is great. OK? <laughs> so anyway. Uh, thank you for listening, and thank you for organizing such a great competition. We really enjoyed. And uh, see you next year again. <laughs> thank you. Uh, uh, I have a gift for you. Thank you. OK. <laughs> so let's, I'd like to close the session. And, uh, sorry, this one. Not, ah, sorry, this one. I have to skip this one. <laughs> OK. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> I skip this one. And uh, so, uh, statistics shows uh, j j many Japanese uh, teams. Uh, b but this is uh, usual for other years. And also, the program language, uh, I count just uh, all lang programming language. So, so one team can choose the many programming language. So, if uh, we, I count this way, then Python gets uh, 55 teams, uh, used by the 55 teams. And uh, Haskell, unfortunately, your camera is not so high. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, I have to advertise <laughs> t-shirts now on sale, so please check the <laughs>
website, our website the, here. So very nice t-shirts, so <laughs> please consider to buy it. <laughs> okay, and thanks to the all members, uh, core members, support members, and a special thanks to the John Mitani for the origami researcher. Uh, thank you for listening. The